It is officially soup season. So let's make a delicious vegetarian soup that's warming and nourishing with an ingredient that may surprise you. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where we get together every week in the kitchen. We create delicious and nutritious recipes. Today, we are going to be making a kale, sweet potato, and black bean chili. Let's begin by taking our washed sweet potatoes, chopping off the ends, and then chopping them up into about one inch sized cubes. So you can either peel the sweet potatoes or leave the peel on. I'm going to leave it on just to add in more nutrients, but if you can't find organic potatoes, I highly recommend peeling them. So you're going to end up with roughly six cups of cubed sweet potatoes. Dump them into a large mixing bowl and then drizzle with one tablespoon of either olive, avocado, or melted coconut oil. Season with one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one half of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, and one eighth a teaspoon or more of cayenne pepper, just depending on how spicy you want your soup to be. Toss everything together until well coated. Spread out in a single layer on a parchment lined baking sheet and roast in a 400 degree preheated oven for about 25 minutes or until the potatoes are soft. While your sweet potatoes are cooling, let's begin assembling our chili. In a large pot, heat one to two tablespoons of either olive, avocado, or coconut oil over medium heat. Add in one cup of chopped up onion, four tablespoons of minced garlic, which is about four to six garlic cloves, just depending on their size, and one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, and one half of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt. Saute for about four minutes or until the onions become translucent and fragrant, just being sure to stir constantly. Now we are ready to add in two 15 ounce cans of organic diced tomatoes. I'm using petite sized tomatoes because I like the smaller pieces, but this is just a personal preference. Two cups of organic low sodium vegetable or chicken broth or filtered water. I like adding the broth because it adds more flavor and more nutrients, but water works just as well. And now for the surprising ingredient, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of cocoa powder. Stir together all of your ingredients and bring it to a boil and then turn down the heat and simmer your chili for about 30 minutes. To your chili, add in two 15 ounce cans of organic rinsed and drained black beans, along with our cooled sweet potatoes. Stir together and continue to cook for about five minutes or until you reach your desired consistency. So the longer you cook, the thicker it's going to get. If it's too thick, simply add in a little bit of filtered water or you could add in some more broth. When your chili is as you like it, add in one cup of packed, chopped up kale. Stir it in and then turn off the heat and your soup is ready to serve. This chili looks amazing, it smells amazing. I cannot wait to give it a taste. Just so you know, I did add a squeeze of fresh lime juice on top, as well as some fresh cilantro. Some other things you could add in are maybe your favorite yogurt. It could be coconut yogurt or Greek yogurt, depending on your diet. You also could add in some freshly sliced avocado. Mm, those ingredients are nice and cooling and they match so well with the spiciness of the chili. So let's give her a taste. I cannot wait. Get a little bit of everything in my bite here. That is absolutely delicious. It's so warming and the spices for me are absolutely perfect. I don't think you can go wrong with this soup. Of course, if you're not vegetarian and you would like to add in some more protein, 
go for it and it's perfect just as is. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks so much for being with me today. Hey, be well, make healthy choices, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.